Sorry guys editing this video was a nightmare but I finally got it finished and joy. Oh, and especially this long awaited boycott. I had put it up about two weeks ago and I took it down because I needed to add some things to it. I started on this boycott when I lived in Texas and I finally finished it after I moved back to Nevada. When I started the bill, I was recording on my tablet and, be and because I'm not tech savvy, I am unable to get that footage off the tablet onto this video. Therefore, I will show pictures and go step by step explaining how I began building this beautiful bar court until I reached the point where I can put in the new videos. I searched around for bar courts with acrylic legs that was very glam and I couldn't find anything I liked. So I decided to build one myself. I came up with a simple design that wasn't simple to build. I purchased a one inch by 16 inch by three feet unfinished spruce pine fir board at Lowe's and I had it cut in half at the store. They don't carry the size I got anymore. Next, I gave each board two coats of white paint and then two coats of silver paint. I finished the top board with a layer of epoxy resin with glitter flakes and wetting scatter. While it was drying, I measured the holes on the bottom board on the top side for the acrylic legs. Then I drilled out the holes. I did a dry fit with the legs and to make sure everything was perfect and level. Next, I added the epoxy resin glitter flakes and wetting scatter to the bottom board. The blue you see is a little piece of plastic tablecloth I put in the holes so I could easily remove any of the epoxy that got into the holes. I ordered some beautiful glass legs from Amazon and I chose to glue them to the board because the hardware that came with the legs was horrible. And then I added some rhinestone ribbon around the sides of the board for that extra glam. I'm taking a ceiling mount bracket and adding some rhinestone ribbon to it. Then I'm adding some glam glitter to the inside of the acrylic tube, being sure to tap it down to make sure it's compressed. Because if not, when you put it together over time, the glitter will not look full on the inside of the tube. Then I'm going to take the ceiling mount bracket and add some Gorilla Glue and hot glue to the inside of it to glue it onto the acrylic tube. I'm just about at the halfway point of building this bar court. Just a little bit more to go. After the ceiling mount bracket has been glued on, then I'm going to take an acrylic diamond gem and glue it to the end of the tube. I want glam, I want lux, and that's what I'm getting. Then I will use some tape to hold it in place while it dries. I will use this bar to go on the top shelf one on each side. Just watch as I do this. I'm using a one inch diameter by 30 inch acrylic rod as legs and a half inch diameter by 12 inch acrylic rod as a crossbar. Using a T connector. Make sure all of your T connectors or at the same height for each leg. I use a rubber piece I cut from a chair stopper and stuffed it down inside the T-connector using a butter knife to make sure the T-connector fit tight on the rod before adding some epoxy that I let sit up for about seven minutes so it could get thick. I put the epoxy 
inside the top section first and let it dry overnight and repeat it the same process on the bottom and the side section of the T-connector. The holes were drilled for the acrylic rods to go on the top shelf before assembly and the glass racks to go under the top shelf. Before drilling the holes for the wine rack, I measured how far back the rack needed to be for the wine bottles to sit properly. I purchased the wine rack from Target and I used some cable clips to attach it because it was a freestanding rack. I want to make sure the bar cord is very steady and won't have any movement once it is completed. Therefore, I am using epoxy to glue the bar cord together. I'm putting some epoxy in each hole for the bottom shelf and also some epoxy around the bottom of each leg before I put them in the holes for each side. If any excessive resin leaks out of the holes and gets onto the board, wipe it off with goo gone or some type of glue remover before it has a chance to set up. After I set the legs in place, I will add the top shelf on to keep the legs in place while they are drying. Once the bottom section dries, turn it over and do the same thing for the top section. Then add the acrylic rods on top. The board cord is finished and ready for decorating. I'm starting off with this beautiful silver shoe with a floral arrangement. This glam ice cube acrylic tray, that's a DIY, except please use an acrylic sheet and not glass in it. A candle. Some beautiful DIY coasters. These beautiful champagne glasses. And a ice wine bucket to match. The grapes are a special touch. I'm adding some DIY ice cubes with roses to the frosted champagne glasses. I have these beautiful slanted champagne flutes with a gold rim I got from Amazon. And next to them, some champagne flutes from Dollar Tree. Next up, I have these beautiful slanted stemless wine glasses. I have some oversized wine glasses that have cheers on them. And I'm going to do the bottom shelf off camera. I made these champagne flutes wall decor pieces using some oversized champagne glasses to match my beautiful board court. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful glam bar court build. Sorry that the video started off bad, but I hope you stay to the end and we'll try to make you a glam bar court. Please enjoy the recap. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Please be safe and enjoy the holidays. Be blessed.